And if it wasn't for slavery, I might be somewhere in Africa worshiping a tree. Bro, I had this exact conversation with a Caribbean dude. And I'm not going to say what country he's from specifically. Because there's a lot of people who be trying to put two and two together. Oh, is that who she was talking about? But this guy, he, he was super duper into Christianity. Like, very much so, right? And this is my thing. There's different types of Christians. There are some Christians who are cool, you know. Like, you can be of a different walk of faith or not religious at all. And that's cool. Y'all can still be friends, right? But then there are some Christians or religious people in general. Because it's not just Christians. There are some of them who got to try to convert you every time they see you. You know, like, they, they can't just mind their business. They can't leave you alone. They got to harass you every time they see you. And he was one of those types. So, every time we saw each other, we would argue. Because I'm sitting here minding my business, and you just cannot let me exist. You got to come have you accept that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Like, leave me alone, right? So, literally, I said to him, I was like, you know, you wouldn't even be a Christian if it wasn't for slavery. White people abducted you, they enslaved you, and they forced you to be a Christian instead of what you supposed to be, right? And this dude literally replied to me. He was like, well, at least I'm not a witch doctor in the Congo. And I was like, mm, okay. Because, <laughs> like, what do you reply to that? is not unique to Caribbeans. This is something that all black Christians, they go through. And even if they don't say it out loud, a lot of them are thinking it. In fact, in fact, I, I feel like I've had conversations with African Americans where they've said something that's pretty much the same as this. Like, like they'll be like, oh yeah, um, slavery was our punishment for serving false gods in Africa or whatever. Pretty much the same exact sentiment. And whenever I hear this, I always have to ask, okay, so you're saying that we were so badly behaved in Africa, you know, serving false gods and stuff, right? That we deserved the punishment of slavery. Okay, so for generations and generations, we were beat, tortured, raped, ripped apart from our families. That's what you're saying, okay? But then you also have to acknowledge that by saying that you're saying that white people were so well behaved that they got to live their most prosperous lives during slavery and sit around whooping our asses that's what you're telling me and you don't you don't think that's like anti-black at all i swear to god years ago i made a video and if i can remember the title of it i'm gonna put it up here i'm pretty sure it was called are you thankful for slavery and i was talking about how i think i was talking about how because like i said this was this was a while ago but i'm pretty sure i was talking about how white people depict africa a certain way right to the point where in the back of your mind you'll catch yourself thinking damn i'm glad i wasn't born in africa like i'm low-key thankful for slavery like literally like you will you will think in the back of your mind and be like you know of course slavery was horrible it was terrible right but like you know if the ends justify the means i'm glad i wasn't born in africa i'm not even joking they depict africa in the most just low down booty butt way possible so that you can damn near catch yourself thinking damn like i'm i'm, I'm low-key kind of glad slavery happened like you know and it's it's always like a background thought in the back of your mind but i'm telling you that's what white people is putting into our heads bro and this is my thing don't get me wrong africa has its issues like in fact i just saw this thing it was a map about like how much of the world's total money each country has so the united states had this big old bubble like it had to be like a third of it right you know and when I first glanced at this map, I didn't even think Africa was on it because I'm like, you know, like, huh, you know? And then when I squinted and like zoomed in, then I was like, oh, that's all of Africa down in the bottom left. Like, like every country is like a, a dot, bro. I'm not even joking. And I was like, that is so wild how Africa has so little of the world's money, but all of these countries that have all of the money are getting all of their resources from Africa because the United States, they, they, in, they in Africa mining their resources and taking their diamonds and cobalt and all of that stuff too, right? They, they literally have all this money because they're stealing from Africa. And don't get me wrong, as I stated, Africa is busted the fuck down. You're not going to catch me living there, right? But the issue is why they busted the fuck down. That's what that's what white people don't talk about. Because when you look at what Africa is going through, they literally steal slaves. That's why I be confused when Africans come under my YouTube channel, Kiki and about slavery. And it's like, baby, you're literally still slaves in Africa. Quite literally, white people still own all of your resources. They force y'all to work in these mines and, and, you know, get these resources and then give it all to them. Like, literally... 
all of Mali's gold and stuff goes to France. So even though France doesn't have any gold mines, they got all the gold. And even though Mali has all these gold mines, they don't have any of the gold. Like when I tell you white people are sucking Africa dry, baby, baby, bone dry. When white people depict Africa, though, they don't talk about the fact that they still over there starting civil wars and shit. Like, they literally still over there. Y'all, y'all, something just happened in, in Niger and uh, some other country. I think Niger finally revolted against the president because the president was literally just a puppet that, that France or somebody put in power. So the Niger people, I don't know what you call them. It ain't Nigerian because them people from Nigeria, right? No, so the people from Niger... They revolted against this this uh puppet dictator and they were like, We wanna rule ourselves. We're tired of you being corrupt and taking all our resources and giving it to France. We're tired of this. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing what they did, right? But the way that, that white people are painting it is, oh, this country is so unstable, they overthrew the government, yada yada yada, right? White people they be doing their cavely things, bro. If you're not paying attention, you're not gonna catch it. So when they show us the news, it's just, oh, look at how unstable Africa is. These people just revolted over through the government. Like they ain't even barely got a government. They so raggedy, right? But what they don't talk about is those people revolted because the government was put in place by France. It was literally giving all their resources away and keeping the people impoverished and, and yada, 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 right? That wasn't a democratically elected official or whatever, right? They don't talk about that, right? Because when they talk about that, it gives you a different perception of Africa. It makes you think, Africa's not that bad. It's just people being taken advantage of, right? But they don't want you to think that. Instead, they want you to just look at Africa and be like, ugh, they raggedy because they raggedy. I'm glad I'm not from there. Damn near grateful for slavery. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, white people be doing their cavely things for real. Like, them people, baby, they be, play, they be playing chess sometimes. I'm not going to hold y'all. When that Caribbean man made that comment about, oh, uh, at least I'm not a witch doctor in the Congo, it made me realize, what is he saying about Africa on TV? And it's funny because he's in this weird ass, I don't want to go into the details of it because again, y'all be trying to do y'all detective, whoever flow, trying to figure out who I'm talking about. But he in this weird church, right? Like, and mind you, this church is full of white people. Mind you, some of the white people is racist. So that's another thing. That's another thing. One of these white dudes is literally racist. Like, I'm pretty sure like he be waving Confederate flags and this Caribbean dude just be a key keying with him. And I'm like, that's why white people like Caribbean so much because y'all be acting fucking stupid. Because if you was an African-American boy and he was waving the confederate flag y'all have been there knucking and bucking in the in the house of the lord but you sitting there in his face kikiing and kaka and so of course he likes caribbeans and it's my thing the caribbean dude knows what the confederacy is it's not like you know he just got here he doesn't know he's like oh wow i didn't know what that flag represented he knows what it represents and he's still kikiing with this dude because we all christian and whatever boy bye anyway so he in this weird church and they be they be going around you know you know how all churches do trying to you know what they call it soul saving yeah we going out soul saving getting on people nerves you know right but they be doing this this weird thing where they be doing like plays dressing up and stuff right so like one of the girls she look kind of like off whitish i don't know if she really middle eastern but she'll like dress up and put like a hijab on and act like oh yeah i was muslim but then these people came and saved me and converted me to christianity right and then the caribbean guy literally he dresses up as like an African tribesman. Like, yeah, you know, I was in the jungle in Africa and they came and saved me. I'm not even joking, bro. Y'all, I gotta put the picture in this video. I crossed a lot of the people out, but I left the girl with the hijab thing on because you can't see her face anyway. And I crossed his face out, but you can see he dressed up as like supposed to be some African whatever. And if you could see his face, he has like face paint on, you know, like African markings, you know. And then he has like this earring around his nose, you know, like... Y'all, when I tell y'all these people are crazy, when I tell y'all, I'm sorry, but black Christians are brainwashed, they in the trenches deep, y'all, y'all, y'all be thinking, y'all be thinking I'm just being hateful because I'm not religious, no, baby, y'all are down bad.